Hello, buddy. Fix here. Welcome back to the first tree. We are now in the evening. Well, middle of the night. Joseph, you can't go to sleep feeling like this. I'm sorry for everything, and I know you need space, but I'm here for you. You don't need to feel so lost. Joseph, have I ever told you what my mother was like? I guess she's not going to tell me then. Um, is this a deer? What is this? It's a deer. What you got here, dear? You know what it's like not to have a mom at home. And you know how hard that made my childhood. What helped me was watching the birds in the morning before the school bus came. <laughs> I thought that my mother was one of those birds. And it made me want to be free like her. My mom taught me how to fold origami cranes while she was in the hospital. So I told myself I would fold one every day until I could fly myself. I think we both have always loved animals. And for me that love started with a dog. Sometimes this Rottweiler would come up to our property line and wait at the fence for me, but only once in a while. I was sure to check every day immediately after school, and it usually ended in disappointment. I would even steal money from my passed out dad just so I could buy these off-brand dog biscuits. Even when she did stop by, she never went beyond the fence. Why was she so scared? Hmm, that, um, where I grew up in my neighborhood, we had a, we had a neighbor that was kind of like the, the last house on the left type of place. It was all the way at the end of the street, even a little beyond the end of the street. And it was an old house, and it, we always thought it was haunted, that type of thing. This is when I was really young. And the, the family that lived there, and it was just, um, a man and a woman and, and their son. Um... They had a Doberman, and this was back in the day when Dobermans were pretty... Um, there was a, a huge misconception in society about how dangerous Dobermans were. Um, they were they were the Rottweilers of the 80s, okay? So, they had a Doberman that everybody was afraid of, and its name was Sissy. And it was interesting because everyone was so afraid of the dog because they would let it out um, in the front yard. Well, they didn't really have a fence. But they would just let the dog out and it would roam on its own. And people would be terrified of this dog. And my experiences with the, with the dog were never like that. He was he would always approach you and whatnot, but people never let it come to that. They were just always terrified. And you know, the Doberman was out, Sissy was out, kids would just run back to their homes. But Sissy was not a dangerous dog. I think my dad was the opposite of your dad in almost every way, except he was in the military as well. He coped with alcohol of every kind. The trailer started falling apart, he got angry, and I withdrew. More and more I became the weird quiet kid who made lots of origami birds and carried talk biscuits around. I think we were pretty similar when it came to being the weird kids. And that same sincerity in college was one of the reasons I was so drawn to you. Of course. Life got worse and worse. And at one point, I really didn't think I could survive another day with my soul still intact. I had no real friends, let alone neighbors, since we lived in the middle of nowhere. I should have talked to my teacher, but I was scared what he would do if he found out. As I waited for the school bus one morning, I walked around until I found something in an abandoned shed. Something I can't put into words. Okay. I saw 
summoned courage I didn't know I had, and I broke into my dad's room and found the key to the shed where he had locked my bike. I'll never forget that feeling. As the wind rushing by my ears as the sun rose over fields of wheat, I was flying for the first time. I biked as far as my legs could take me until I found a house that felt friendly, and that felt like home. Those strangers helped me in so many ways. And if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found my foster family. And if it wasn't for my parents, I wouldn't have met you. Okay. Oh. You have strength, Joseph. And you're not as alone as you think. It's all just so pointless. Just waiting for life to happen. It's like having the home I always wanted is cursed out of my reach. The thought of being a parent myself. How could I do that when I couldn't even be a good son? I'm sorry. I know what you're saying. I just don't know how things will work out. These quiet hours will turn into years. We'll wonder which roads passed us by. Then we'll forge a new road, together. Besides, I discovered for myself that one fateful morning where any hopeful road leads to. There may be thorns in this, but it always leads to the same thing. And what's that? Family. I'm so glad that you're part of my family, Rachel. And I'm glad you're part of mine. Alright. Um, before I move straight, I'm going to check the, the left and right side in case there's anything. So far, I don't see anything. Some more water. Still see the little islands out there. Um, this is a very pretty area, too. There's like nothing over here. Why is there a giant over area over here if there's nothing here? There we go. Where's the payoff? All right, what do we got here? Um, it's a girl drawn several times, and there is um, Fox. the bunnies. Okay. There's something there. I completely missed this thing. Is it a washer? Sure is. So is this really a parallel story or, or is this um is this Fox himself uh kind of exploring his memories in his head? Oh, I got a little graphical glitch there. Cause I think the fox is him. Or an avatar of him, something along those lines, right? How he sees himself? Are those? Oh, I thought I saw stars over there. I do not.
What's that noise? What is that noise? I don't know what that was. I mean, at first I thought it was wind, but I'm not so sure. It sounded like maybe hooves? And then I... You hear that whining over here? Yeah, I think that noise is coming from here. At least the whiny one is. I don't know about the... The hooves or the wind, whatever it is. Alright, I'm gonna follow the shore on the way there. And I'll follow... The mountains on the way back. That looks like something up there. Check this rock real quick. Yeah, I don't think I'm meant to go up there. Oh, well, no, I was wrong. There's no star, though. Autumn is easily my favorite season. Um, at least, um, <laughs> where I grew up we had four seasons. Where I'm at right now we don't have four seasons. But when you have four seasons, autumn is certainly the best season. Not just with the, 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 the temperature in the air, but, you know, with the colors. I love the colors. But, you know, my favorite color is orange, and I rather enjoy reds and yellows. So I guess that would make sense for me. Nothing along the beach? Holy cow. Fireplace. Um... Just pieces of his house scattered about. I don't know if they're his current house or maybe the house he grew up in. I'm guessing the house he grew up in. I don't know. But surely there's something over here. Alright, we got a couch chair and a TV or is that a monitor? Probably a TV. Old style. And it looks like there may have been something up here, right? Maybe? Well, there's certainly a star. Whoa! Yeah, you hear that? Oh, there's a buck down there. Okay. Um, can I travel up here? No, I got an invisible wall. All right, I don't think I'm meant to go that way. That's just giving me a look of the next. Well, the current area. Okay, we'll head back to the middle. See, it feels, it sounds like wind, doesn't it? I don't know. It's very weird. And that whining noise is creepy. So is the buck his, his dad? You hear it? Oh, well, there's, there's lots. I, I did not see this many. Was I just blind? Or did I just think that they were pieces of wood? I don't know. Are you guys afraid of me? Are you going to run away? These guys don't seem to care that I'm here. Okay. Okay. 
It's... What is that noise? It's starting to sound a little bit like a fire. Go to the left. Because that's, that's where it sounds like the noise is coming from, but I don't know. I really didn't notice that they were this many tear down here. Am I just blind? Holy cow. See him hiding a star back there. Well, I guess not. How far can I zoom out anyway? This far? This is the guy that I was looking at while I was up there. This big dude. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't, you notice how, no, nope, I can see them now. Maybe they just weren't moving, I don't know, or maybe I was too far and they were just out of the field of view, or the draw distance. wonder if that whining is his dying father or one of his dying cubs. I don't know. It's the way I gotta go. I got 99 stars. So wondering if there's gonna be another one down there. I'm glad there isn't. Alright. Is that sound getting louder? That was just the sound of the area. I guess that was just water and deer and wind. Alright. Oh no. <laughs> God. Oh, I'm gonna fail. Alright. Alright, let's try it. So that's a hundred. Whoa. Yep. Okay, well, I can't. Oh, come on. No. Whatever. So that one's a little too close. I gotta back up a little bit. This one here. There we go. No, this one. There we go. Behind this rock. You hiding stars on me over here? Probably nothing. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Would have been tilted if I fell down there. Okay. Noise sounds like it's coming from my left now. I think it's just the deer, though. I don't think I'm meant to hear that any lo any longer. I don't know. Uh oh. I guess that's it then. I guess that's it. We'll do the next area next time. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see ya. Bye bye.